homemade Sunday sauce. Katie, yes. the kid, get us started. <laughs> all right, so I've got the onions here, got them all chopped up. You looking for me to bring that over to you, Jen? Yes, please. Mm. Come on over to the sauce. All right, scene. here we go. A nice bowl of onions, because I always know how many to add, right? Always. Now, right. We're, we seared off. Uh, some neck bones, pork neck bones, very traditional and a big Sunday gravy. Ton of collagen, ton of fat, ton of flavor, ton of good meat that kind of falls off the bone after we braise it low and slow. And yep. cheap. And yep, yeah, very, very inexpensive. Thank you. We got uh, a bunch of Italian sausages in there too. We rendered out that fat. Now we have this beautiful elixir in the pan. And we're mm -hmm. gonna build the base of our Sunday gravy off that starting with the onions. Don't put too many onions in the sauce. Don't Flavor of fat, no. okay? All right, <laughs> we don't want to do that. So we'll stir it all around. Salt. I like to hit it with a little salt now because we, we don't want too much color. We just want to build, make sure these are soft, melt in your mouth. Lovely. Then I put a couple pinches of dried Italian seasoning, which has dried oregano, thyme, basil. Mm -hmm. And it sits in that oil and kind of blooms in that beautiful I can pork already fat. smell it. Uh, Alex, we got one more meat element in our Sunday gravy. What do you got? Uh, you know, I'm on meatball duty, and I'm excited about it. I am doing the old school way. Equal parts veal, beef, and pork. That's right. The three meat. Sometimes they sell it all together in a little packet. Yeah. So right. grocery nice store. I'm that. like, thank you, butcher. So the most important thing for me with meatballs is don't overwork them. And I just put the salt and the red pepper flakes right on the meat. Just so sprinkle smart. everything right on it. A lot of chopped parsley. I mean, Ooh. a lot. We need that parsley to really breadcrumbs just enough to hold them together. I mean, if they fall apart, you can always add a little bit more. One egg, just lightly beaten right in there, and then a really, honestly, an obscene amount of cheese. Right? Yeah. That's 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 what you're looking. That's what's missing from a lot of home style meatballs. It's mm -hmm. it's it's like equal parts meat and cheese. By then, you just really are just almost pinching it and not even mixing it. Mixing it together. So cool. A lot of controversy over whether to bake the meatballs, fry them, or pan fry them. I'm a pan fryer. I'm putting it out there. Yep. I always brown them. I can't stand it. I and know. I love to put, and I, then I, I clean that pan not by scrubbing it, but by pouring a little of the tomato sauce and deglazing mm -hmm. and throwing all that, that brown bit right in the sauce. Oh, you got it. Because that's, yeah. that you can't waste that. And I love, I love the, uh, the old school Nona method here of just throwing the perfectly sized meatballs directly but on the cutting board. But notice what she's doing, she's not overworking it, so it's not right. meatloaf. All right, right this is doing? looking good. You smell the blooming of those dried Italian seasonings. The onions are softening up. Once you start to see them get a little translucent, we can go to the next step. Jeffrey's perfectly razor thin shaved garlic right in there. It's gonna melt in the sauce, literally liquefying the pan. All right. And we don't want to leave that in there too long. Next comes the tomato paste, right? Mm -hmm. Just yeah, gives yeah, a man. magic body to the sauce. Always great to mingle with the garlic in there. They each take about 30 seconds to a minute to incorporate, and that's mm -hmm. a good kind of clock to follow, right? When you put in your garlic, you put in take your tomato paste, mm -hmm. and you spread it around, and you kind of let things magically happen. Mm -hmm. Next comes the tomatoes. We're using San Marzano tomatoes. I like taking the whole San Marzanos, taking my immersion blender and just blending them in a bowl or a big kind of a vessel like this. And we're gonna add those right in here. I mean, it can, but I mean, if you're gonna have, this is, the that. bulk of this is tomato. No, I'm going to show you something, Sonny. Oh, you're going to water right? and this rinse is, out? This okay, is the true right, way of the right. Italian-American spirit, right? That's the true way my of grandma would do, as my mom peoples. would do. You have this leftover delicious tomato clinging to the sides of these cans. Do this in your sink, just a little water. Mm -hmm. And then I like to kind of pour it in one can, swizzle right. it around. Mm -hmm. nice. mm -hmm. That's all right. We're making messes today. This is home-style cooking, right? Okay. So you get all, every little nanogram of that tomato out of the can, back into here, swizzle it around into the sauce. This is gonna be a long cooking mm -hmm. process, we'll right? Take our time. So you need extra little water, a little mm -hmm. extra liquid. You can keep these on hand. That's just All right, percolate. and then of course, just a tear of basil, rip it right in there. And we can add that obviously as we go and as it finishes off a little fresh basil. And once you taste it, a couple pinches of sugar. 
but only if the tomatoes need it, especially at the end when we retaste everything. Now you can see it start to move, right? It's I love it. Moving, right? Do you smell it? Is gonna smell and amazing. you see the little bubbles starting to protrude. That's when you can put all your meat back in and whatever juice has accumulated. The sausage, the neck bones. <laughs> Slide it right in there. Any juice. And what we're gonna do now, really, as low as a simmer as you can go, for as long as it takes That's for right. that neck bone meat to get super soft and super pullable. And everything marries in there so nicely. Tasty deliciousness. My triple meat meatballs are just seared off and going right into this sauce. Yeah. How's it looking in there? Looks good so in here. Good. Looks good in here, guys. Looks like it's finally done. Sunny, mm -hmm. how is it? Are we good? It's delicious. It's yeah. Good. Sweet. Tangy, tomatoey, meaty. Oh. It's got all the elements. Mm. Yeah. I cannot, like, mm. And now I am just adding a little layer of sauce on top and a little bit of meat. I'm assuming everybody wants meatball and sauce. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And then we can all fight over the neck bones and a little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're plating up our little saucy sauce. So perfect. That's all you need to do. Simple. Oh, Thanks, man. Nona. Oh. These this looks beautiful. Thank Look at this. Oh, oh, my God. Look at the smell of the basil. Thanks, I'll pretend Nona I cooked Alex. it all by oh, myself. Oh, we got the garlic bread. Mm. Ooh, that meatball, Alex, mm. your meatballs. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's like just the perfect balance of tangy and sweet tomato. And then having the pork fat in there, just, mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's so good.